morning, everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. So yesterday, uh, my daughter and her husband took Mark and I out uh, to an upscale restaurant for a joint Mother's Day and Mother's and Father's Day dinner. So they were treating us both at the same time, late for one, early for the other, but it all worked. And of course, that upscale restaurant was a special treat for us, but. One of the items on the menu was, um, the dessert items, was uh, biscottis. And uh, when they came, I said, oh, my biscottis are nice. <laughs> Better than that, I put cranberries and chocolate chips and almonds. I throw the kitchen sink in there. And my son-in-law said, and where is my biscottis? So I thought, oh my goodness, you like those? I definitely, I'll make you a batch. So it became the... Uh, I have to make them a batch. Let's get to it. Okay, so I have assembled all my ingredients, I believe, and I'm going to start off with uh, placing flour, sugar, butter, and baking powder, and a little bit of salt into my mixer. So, first things, flour. Two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. So that would be, I've got a half cup here for five and a bit. So, one, two. I need one and a half cups of sugar. So that would be, I'm using a half cup measuring cup because that's what fits comfortably in this one gallon jug that I use. One half cup of butter, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So I've got teaspoons, so one teaspoon. and a half. One teaspoon of salt. Two eggs. One quarter cup of milk. I'm also going to add some chocolate cocoa powder. About two tablespoons. And teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, and that is my own homemade vanilla extract that has been brewing for over a year now. Okay, get this mixed up. And while that's happening, I will clean up everything here. Okay, now that that has mixed up quite nicely, I did add another tablespoon of flour to that mix to thicken it up a bit. So we're going to make my decadent recipe now. So first things are cranberries. And I don't even measure, I just throw handfuls of all of this in. Get a good and uh, probably a cup, cup, two cups cranberries. Probably a cup. Lots of chocolate chips. Okay, and and almonds. 
Now, if I had other nuts, I would throw them in, like if I had hazelnuts, but I don't have hazelnuts right now. Okay, so we'll slowly mix this up. Okay, meanwhile, we want to uh, preheat our oven as well as get two cookie sheets ready with some parchment paper. And I'm going to let this just keep mixing gently while I do that. Okay, my two cookie sheets with parchment paper are ready. I'll just put these aside. I want to take it out and make some loaves. I'm going to flour my board here a little bit. Okay, first I'm going to cut this approximately in half, and then this will be cut into thirds. That's right. All right, so there's the first three. And again. Oh, it sounds like my oven is up to temperature. Okay, so now we let these cook. And for my treat, I decided to have some of my homemade cranberry juice. I'm getting down to the uh, end of this batch, and I'm saving these cranberries to make some muffins again. So, while my biscottis are cooking, and actually the first cook is 30 minutes. Biscottis you cook twice, so the first cook is 30 minutes, and the second one is 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, my timer has gone off. I've taken the uh, cookies out and that's what they look like now. They should have swollen up and they're still fairly soft. And I want to carefully, I don't want them to break. And you probably should wait till they have cooled off and I'm always a bit on the impatient side, but um, at this point, we want to slice them, and I shouldn't have done that. See, it's breaking. Okay, so want to slice them, and I slice them on an angle to get a good sized cookie. Okay, 
Now you can use a serrated knife and a lot of people say to use that. I have made these often enough that I find the best solution for me is just this vegetable um, knife that I have seems to do the trick for me better than any other knife so that's what I use. And I put these back on the same baking sheet and parchment. Okay, that's the first one done. Now we'll do the second one. Okay, so now I've got both my uh, trays of biscottis cut and they'll go back in the oven and I'll probably do 10 minutes on one side, pull them out, turn them around and 10 minutes on the other side. And the first temperature should have been 350 degrees and I've lowered the temperature now to 300 for the second baking. Okay, well, I actually baked them a little bit longer. I like my biscottis dry, so I think it was like 15 minutes per side rather than 10 minutes per side and uh, they're all done now all nicely cooled on a dish and don't kid yourself i've been eating <laughs> the ends as we go along all that's left now is the delivery and yes he's getting the whole plate full <laughs> and uh, hopefully that'll last him a few days this is tony from her homestead skills hope you enjoyed this video and we will catch you on the next one bye for now <music>